Hello, this is Mesos Orem, and this is a tutorial series on SFML. The first thing you'll want to do is click the 32-bit Visual C++ 17 download button. Once you have that downloaded, you will want to make a new folder, call it source, and inside of that, another new one, call it repos, both are lowercase, and a new one outside of that called external uppercase and then you will take this file and put it in to the external and you will open that file and take everything that is within this and put it into external once that is done you can delete this file never have to deal with it again Opening up Visual Studio, we will create a new project. It will be an empty project. We will name it SFML Tutorial. Tutorials. And then place it in the repos file. When you're done with that, create your file. Now that we are in Visual Studio, we will create a new source file, call it main, and do the usual C++ startup. Include iostream, do your int main, return zero. And here we we'll do the usual hello world. And we will be doing in 86 because 64 will not be working. And it says hello world. That works well. Now that we have that done, we can take this external folder, copy it, put it into SFML tutorials, and once it has completed, we can take the stuff that is in bin, copy it, put it in the named folder. Back in Visual Studios, we will want to go to Project, Properties, and if the language standard is at 14 or otherwise, go to 17, and then go to the C, C++, and in Additional Include Directories, go to Edit, type in dollar sign, Solution, DIR, as in Directories, Kernel, include and apply. Here we make sure that configuration, all configuration is on for both of those. We will go to linker and go to additional library directories. We'll be doing nearly the same thing. Solution R ESTRNAL. And instead of include, we will do lib, as in library. In input, we will change to debug. And we will type in sfml window-d.lib sfml-system-d.lib sfml dash graphics dash d dot lib sfml dash audio dash d dot lib and finally sfml dash network dash d dot lib and we'll be copying these because we'll be basically taking the same thing and putting in release without the dash d's 
here. Go apply. Go to release. Paste and take out all the dash D. Now that that's done, we can include SFML graphics.hpp. Get rid of this. For the window's height and width, we want them both to be unsigned. And the width will be 640. Height will be 360. And to make a window, we need to do SF, colon, colon, then render window, star window, equals new SF render window. And inside the parentheses, we need a video mode. And in brackets inside of there, we will say width, height, and we can also put a little title, which will display at the top of the screen. At the end of the application, we will delete window. Here we will do a while loop, and inside we will say window dot is open and inside the while loop we'll put another while loop and say const standard optional event equals window Pull event, and in there, if event is SF event closed, then we will close the window. To show that we can close the window, we will debug and close the window. Without this, you cannot press that button. In fact, I will show that you cannot press that button. It does nothing. Now we will revert that to normal and say, because a lot of people like to press the escape button. We'll say else if const auto star key pressed equals event get if sf event key pressed. like that. Inside that, if key pressed scan code equals SF keyboard scan code escape, then it will say window closed. And we can also test that out, debug, and press the escape button, and it has escaped. Outside of the while loop, we can scroll down, say window, clear, and we can either leave this blank, and it will be a black screen, which I will show first, and then after that, window display. In between here, later on, 
we will be drawing here. This is where shapes and sprites and everything goes when we are drawing to the screen. And here, all this is your rendering. Now I can show you what the screen looks like. And the background is now black. Also, you can change it to any color you want and even add textures. But for now, we will say the color will be, let's say, orange. And 88 and 00 FF. This is the hexadecimal for orange. And the screen is indeed orange. That is the end of the first tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a great day.